Hey tankers, I'm Ian, and I have a confession to make. I freaking love first person shooters, I'll play them all, even if they're absolute stinkers. So when Game Tank received an invite to Gamer Base in London's Trocadero Centre to attend a hands on event featuring the new download only first person shooter Blacklight Tango Down, I had a mixture of emotions. On the one hand, I was buzzing that a new shooter was on its way, but on the other, I was apprehensive. A DLC only shooter? Surely it's just not going to be up to the same standards of full-priced games. And do we really need another when the fantastic Battlefield 1943 is available? Hmm. Well, to soothe my nerves, Jared Gerritsen, the project lead of Blacklight Tango Down, was in attendance, and he talked us through a lot of the standout features of the game before me and my fellow game journos were let loose to try the sci-fi super blaster for ourselves. Advanced Warfare Bang! Blacklight Tango Down is set in the near future and centres on the conflict between the Blacklight team and a rebel group called The Order. There is a pretty vague plotline based around The Order kidnapping a missing colonel and his personal Blacklight team, but that's only there to set the scene and give us an excuse to fight tomorrow's conflicts on 12 multiplayer maps with hardcore weaponry which is based around existing or upcoming battlefield technology. So, 12 multiplayer maps, a nice amount, which range from small 2v2 maps to larger 8v8 snipe happy maps, and 7 different game types including all the classics such as Team Deathmatch and Domination, lovely, a lot to play around with, but nothing too out of the ordinary. What will set this game apart from other shooters is the weaponry and customization aspects, which run very deep and mean you can literally create your own custom class to suit your style of play. You will be able to customize your armor too, but the main scope is to make your weapon your own. There are six core weapons to choose from, but each of these can have all its parts changed, including the magazine, barrel, muzzle, optic, and buttstock. <laughs> There are around 25 different items for each gun and 25 different colours and patterns to tart them up with too, giving the potential for thousands of different weapons. But the coolest feature in my opinion is the ability to add weapon tags to the guns. While developing the game, Zombie combed military magazines for inspiration and spotted that Special Forces soldiers were hanging mobile phone danglers from their guns to personalise them. They took that idea and applied it to the game so you can add your own weapon tags, like cool skulls or comedy items and some of these tags will even slightly change some of your weapon perks if you experiment with different combinations. Blacklight Tango Down is set in the future, so it makes sense that along with the future weapons they also have future armour. The main part of this armour is the soldier's HRV, which stands for Hyper Reality Visor. This visor adds a new tactic for first person shooter players to learn, as once activated it shows a location of all the hostiles on the map. And that doesn't mean everyone will be running around with their HRVs on shooting at people they have seen miles away. To balance this perk, Zombie have made it so you cannot fire while in HRV, so you really need to plan when and where to use it for it to be most effective. And, and so you don't die. To combat these HRVs, each soldier comes with futuristic versions of flashbangs and smoke grenades. So instead of smoke coming from the smoke grenades, you get a cool digital effect which blocks your vision, while the flashbangs interfere with the operation of your HRV. So far so good, but what if multiplayer isn't your bag? Well, Blacklight also features four four-player co-op maps where you will fight against opposing teams of AI enemies made up of soldiers and virus-infected civilians. Although I didn't get a chance to play this mode, Jared promised that all of the enemies respawn at random points so each battle will be different every time, making the co-op section very replayable. Especially as the points you earn in this mode also go towards unlocking customizations in the multiplayer. Nice, so a lot to look forward to then. But how does it play? Well, it has an old school shooter feel to it with tons of new elements thrown in. The guns feel nice and balanced and the controls are intuitive and smooth. It's a cross between Unreal Tournament and Modern Warfare I reckon. Unreal for the fast paced action and Modern Warfare for the attention to detail and the masses of customization options. The HRV works well and using this feature means that there is never too long between your fights and with your soldier being able to take quite a bit of punishment these fights are often pretty epic rather than just your normal run around the corner and get fragged deal. 
I also enjoyed the little tweak to the domination mode, which involved playing a little mini game to hack and capture control points. It makes a change from just standing around and waiting for a flag to rise, or holding down a button for a set amount of time, and it can get pretty tricky when you have incoming fire and start panicking. The makers of Blacklight Tango Down want to invigorate the download market and increase the quality of games available, and from what I have played they are totally nailing it. Some newer gamers may be put off by the speed of the action or the lack of story mode, but anyone who has been playing and loving first person shooters for a long while should be just as excited as I am about the game. Blacklight Tango Down will be available for download on XBLA, PSN and PC sometime around July at a cost of around £12. Keep it real, keep it game tank.